Yeah, Pepperholic Entertainment. I started this. Me, I'm all the pimp. With, uh, really, with all my experience in the music industry, you know, I, I feel like at the time it was only the right thing to do. I was a part of uh, another label, Fam Records, from 1997 up to 2003, so I basically learned the ins and outs how to run a record label then from an uh, underground point of view. And then when I went to college, I got the legal side of it. And then when I got with BG and Shop City Wrestling in 2004, I learned actually how to run a record label from the industry point of view. So, Putting all that together, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was on the right for me to move forward and establish my own record label. Pimp Hollick Entertainment staff consists of uh, six people, including me. So you got Milo Pimp, you got uh, Big Mike, who was a street promoter, you got Snow, my personal assistant, you got Ben Banks, head of promotion, and my road manager, you got J Dub, who was head of all the wardrobe design, did it with clothing, and you got uh, the homie J, who can be here today, his mother, personal assistant. Me and uh, Banks, well, actually, Banks and Banks, my head of promotion, that's my cousin, so that's family, you know what I'm saying? So that, I've been knowing him all my life. He has actually decided to come in with a music bench with me once I move forward and start my own label. Big Mike, me and Big Mike, we're both from the same neighborhood, we're from the west side of Chattanooga, so I've been knowing him. Actually, from, we've been running together since I was like probably 14, so you know, we had a tight bond from that point on up until now. Snow, me and Snow grew up together from around like seven years on and up, you know what I'm saying? So we like childhood buddies. Doug, my wardrobe designer, he grew up with me too. Actually, me, Snow, and Doug all grew up together, you know what I'm saying? From like seven, eight years old up until now. And uh, Jay, me and Jay went to college together at Middle Tennessee State University, so you know. He's solid in his own way, you know what I'm saying? We've known him about it for nine, ten years. So, together, you know, we all make up a step. That's why I trust everybody. We all got history together. Snow, again, is my personal assistant. Snow is my personal assistant more on a local point of view. Dealing with, like, the business in Chattanooga. It's, uh, Snow, it's, Snow, it's Snow's responsibility to make sure that all my CDs are stocked up in cash. When they sell out, they got a new shipment in. It's no responsibility to go out to the cable company, make sure we got the proper advertisement running, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have weekly meetings every week, every Sunday we have weekly meetings. And uh, if a staff member happened to miss the meeting, there's no responsibility to give him the print out of the paperwork and make sure he put them up to date on what's really going on. And when I'm out of town also, it's no responsibility to fill me in on what's going on with the staff. So Snow, like I said, that's, he deal with my personal business more from a uh, local point of view. Banks my, is my head of promotion and also he's my road manager. So Banks being over the head of promotion, it's his job to make sure we got the proper flyers and the proper uh, posters ready to put out there and promote for each project. Uh, it's Banks' job to work hand in hand with Doug to make sure we got t-shirts and stuff like that. Well, each time we got a new event coming up. And also him being the road manager, each time we got video shoots, uh, we got to go out of town. It's his job to make sure the hotels are lined up properly and we got the proper transportation and all that. Jay is my personal assistant more from a business standpoint. I went to school with Jay, so Jay is more computer literate, you know what I'm saying? So Jay handled a lot of my faxes, emails and stuff like that. And it's Jay's job to uh, actually give me a printed out itinerary each time I have an event of what's going on. So that means he got to work hand-in-hand -hand with Banks when we go out of town or we got certain video shoots. As far as uh, when Banks get out, get the, uh, the hotels booked and get the transportation booked, he got to give it to Jay, and Jay got to convert it over to me. You see what I'm saying? So Jay deals with my personal system more from a business point of view. Big Mike is a street promoter. He run the streets a lot. He run a lot of rhyming spots, you know what I'm saying? And from a business point of view, word of mouth is everything, you know, you know so he keep, he keep my name pumping in spots where the average person would really go at, you know what I'm saying? We plus, we, we street dudes as it is, you know what I'm saying? So he just taking more depth and put that business twist on the street, you know what I'm saying? Doug, being over the wardrobe design, on the low, he probably got the business job, you know what I'm saying? Because each time we have an event, it's Doug's, it's Doug's responsibility to make sure all the staff members got proper shirts. It's Doug's responsibility to make sure uh, we got enough t-shirts on deck to give out to certain people at the events who are interested in us and uh, interested in what we're doing. So Doug basically got to keep us dressed every time we go somewhere, you know what I'm saying? So. In so many ways, everybody at Pimper Hollow play an important role. Nobody's not important than the next person, you know what I'm saying? And when we have our meetings, we all collaborate and throw ideas up. So just because 
one person does this, he's not stuck there at one job, you know what I'm saying? We all collaborate to make it happen at the end of the day, you know, I put the final say so on it. But it's a, you know, it's a staff, it's, you know, it's a staff that for one, honest, I can trust all of them, you feel me? I knew all of them before music, so I can trust everybody. In the music business, trust is a big thing, so for one, I can trust everybody. And then for two, the thing, the reason I love working with them is because I feel like they can trust me. And I feel like they are trusting me for somebody to put a lot of what they're doing to the side and to run with your idea, something that's not their own idea, and, and, and put their all into it, you know what I'm saying? They really got to believe in what you're doing, so... That's why I love the hell out of them niggas and that, you know, just from the heart, they, they really believe in what I'm doing. They don't really put a lot of shit aside to really invest in Pimpaholic. And Pimpaholic is my late. So people can move forward with my shit just like it's theirs, you know what I'm saying? They gotta have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in me. And it's vice versa with me. So I think the trust is what I enjoy most out of working on my stuff. And on top of that, we friends outside of this shit, so we all get along. And ain't no, no funny shit, no talking behind the back. You know, somebody got something to say, we all bring it to the table, and it's a dress right there. So it's real shit going on there, Phil Holly. You feel me? Real shit going on there. a couple things I want to see. For one, I want to see, uh, I want to see everybody get back on their game. I want to see the competition level step back up. Because right now, it's only a few people here in the city, and not taking nothing away from nobody, but it's only a few people here in the city, including me, who really got a chance of being heard outside the city. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't because they ain't talented, but they just don't really understand the business and how certain shit work and how to go about marketing themselves. And uh, it don't seem like a lot of people take this shit serious. Back in the 90s, we had, like, here in Chattanooga, we had so many labels. You had Fam Records, we had, we had Model Pim, Benjamin Shaw, West Wayne Riz, Shouted Thugger. We had To Die For, who had uh, Red, Mo Red, the Mocking Boss, and Earl, the Battleground Soldiers, they had the Little Twins. We had uh, Combined Styles, Block Life, we had P Dubs, uh, Black Folk, and Dangerous Species. We had uh, Silver Hawk Records, we had Down South Affiliated, you know, with HPGs and the Folk Bad Boys, Mr. Luck. We had a nice local uh, roster of artists down here back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And back then, it was like, if fam dropped something, you knew down there two weeks later, down south was gonna hit your ass or something. Then you knew some folks gonna come back or something. I, I missed that competition level, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, you got maybe a model pimp, and you got this dude and that dude, that's it. It ain't really nothing to look forward to when it comes to the underground music scene. I just wanna see that competition level step back up and everybody get back on that game and what niggas is really looking forward to something. I think the underground divided down here into uh, size. Chattanooga separated by this side and that side. If a nigga ain't from a certain nigga side of town, they won't listen to him. You can have a nigga who at the east side, he can really be bumped. But just because he's from the east side and he might have a certain color on, he might not have a fan base on the south side. And vice versa, you can have a nigga out the south side and you're talented. But people on the east side or on the west side might not listen to him because he's from the south side. So I think we need, if we can break that barrier and get everybody to just start supporting motherfuckers who from the city, no matter what side of town you're from, I think we can go somewhere. I'm, and I'm starting to break that barrier. That was the whole point of me doing this DVD and this song, Chattanooga, you know what I'm saying? I went, if you notice, I didn't yell West Side or nothing in that song. It's where you're from, Chattanooga. I'm representing everybody, everybody in the city. And I'm trying to get everybody else to start thinking like that. So I think we get a lot more unity with the underground. We can start seeing this shit go somewhere. You feel what I'm saying? So coming from my old pimp, that's what I want to see y'all niggas do, man, for real. That's what I want to see us do. And we can move forward and, and start shining like these other cities, you know what I'm saying? Say the chat DVD in stores now. You know that because you got it. Coming soon. Rap hustling the DVD and soundtrack. Come a holiday entertainment, homie.